Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great joy with humility and gratitude. I join with my brother priest, Father Joe, traveling all the way from Sydney, from the parish of St. Nicholas of Myra, Catholic Church from Penrith, and then also Father Frank from Boston with several people. And I come from Archdiocese of New York. So we all gather here, and along with Father Thomas and the two deacons, Deacon Jerry and Deacon Rob, we celebrate this Mass of Thanksgiving for all the blessings and favors Our Lady of Fatima brings into our life. It's, it so happened that I celebrate my 20th ordination anniversary today. It gives me great joy to celebrate this Mass as a thanksgiving for the call and the occasion that God has given to me. Please join with me as we celebrate this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we participate and celebrate this amazing mystery of our faith, with tremendous gratitude for Our Lady and Our Mother as an intercessor for all the time in our spiritual journey, let us humbly ask her to bring us the gift of peace from her son and also the gift of forgiveness for the times that we are being challenged and tested. Let us ask God for his mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the books of the Acts of the Apostles. They started preaching to the Greeks, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. Those who had escaped during the persecution that happened before of Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch. But they usually proclaimed the message only to the Jews. Some of them, however, who came from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch where they started preaching to the Greeks, proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus to them as well. The Lord helped them, and the great number believed and were converted to the Lord. The church in Jerusalem heard about this, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. There he could see for himself that God had given grace, and this pleased him, and he urged them all to remain faithful to the Lord with heartfelt devotion. For he was a good man, filled with Holy Spirit and with faith, and a large number of people were won over to the Lord. Barnabas 
then left for Tarsus to, help, to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought, he brought him to Antioch, and things turned out that they were to live together in that church a whole year, instructing a large number of people, and it was Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. This is the word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. O praise the Lord, all you nations. Babylon and Egypt, I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion sh shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. It is he, the Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of people, he writes, these are her children. And while they dance, they will sing. In you all find their home. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord. It was a time when the Feast of Dedication was being celebrated in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple walking up and down in the portico of Solomon. The Jews gathered around him and said, how much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus replied, I have told you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name are in my witness, but you do not believe, because you are no sheep of mine. The sheep that belongs to me listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost, and no one will ever steal them from me. The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone, and no one can steal from the Father. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Peace be with you. We arrived last evening, and one word that keeps coming to me was peace. You know, sometimes we all come from various cities. Every day we hustle and bustle to get to one place to the other place. And you come here, you walk around, and the words of Jesus from the time he was resurrected, peace be with you. 
and how precious, how valuable that gift of peace becomes to each of us. Don't we all love to be at peace for all the time? Would you get up in the morning and decide, I'm going to fight with 10 people today? I'm going to argue with seven people today? No, that's not our nature. We love to be at peace in heart. We love to enjoy the gift of God's presence every moment of our living and life. But unfortunately, we battle so many things. And then we come here to this beautiful place, shrine, where Our Lady appeared to three beautiful, pure, innocent children. And how can we become pure, innocent, so that we could carry away that beautiful presence of our Blessed Mother in our journey of faith? The two words that she said at the wedding at Cana, she said, this is my son Jesus, listen to him. I think that's a very profound words of our Blessed Mother. She told, listen to my son Jesus. And listening is not easy. And it is very challenging and very difficult. I'm speaking, speaking from my own personal experience as a professional counselor and a chaplain. Sometimes I ask somebody, how are you today? And there goes 40 minutes. <laughs> and especially most of you are married, who are couples, you know how hard it is to listen to your spouse some days. Not all the time, but some days. And yet, the words of our Blessed Mother is, listen to my son, Jesus. And I think, if we can, practice that listening to our Blessed Mother's Son, Jesus, it would definitely bring us closer and bring us very intimately to our Savior and Redeemer. And the other words of our Blessed Mother was, I am the handmaid of the Lord, may it be done to me according to thy word. This morning, very briefly, I was giving a reflection. I said, there is only a step away from fear to faith. How at times we are so focused and we are afraid of everything. We are so frightened of everything. Fear dominates our life. Fear takes away our life. And how there is a small gap between that fear turning into faith. And possibly when the angel Gabriel appeared to our blessed mother, she was terrified. She was afraid. She was frightened. She could not understand what was going. And yet, that turned into a beautiful expression of trust, faith. And she said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to thy word. So today, as we gather here, coming from various backgrounds, various countries, cities, we entrust to the intercession of our Blessed Mother. We take away from this amazing place the gift of peace, so that our lives can be enriched, and also to practice, to listen to Jesus. And finally, to make our moments of fear into moments of faith. That way, even the worst could happen, or we might be battling something dreadful, frightening, a health issue, a separation, or a loss of some loved one. And it can move us from fear to the place of faith. May God bring us to that assurance of faith. May peace of Christ and our Blessed Mother guide us, make us channels of advocation, advocating for peace in the days to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Kindly join with me for the prayers of the faithful. We pray to God, our Father, who sent his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, to unite and lead the Pilgrim Church. With trust and confidence, we present our prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis and all religious men and women, that God may guide them in their works. The response today is, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For peace in the middle in the world, especially in Ukraine and the Middle East. We pray, pray to, to the Lord. Lord. For Father Ravi on his 20th year of ordination, may God continue to guide him in his ministry and service up to the church. Lord, you hear our prayer. For all these souls in purgatory and all who have nobody to pray for them, Lord, hear our prayer. For all your personal intentions, Lord, hear your, our prayer. We especially also remember and pray Father Joel here, and also Father Frank and Father Thomas, and for their gift of priesthood, and also for Deacon Rob and Deacon Jerry, and for the gift of priesthood and vocation that God has blessed with so many men, and the religious life with so many women. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we especially remember and pray for people of uh, Portugal, and especially the community that lives and serves. May our Blessed Mother constantly invite us, welcome us to our Son, Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Shepherd, hear the petitions of the church in prayer on his holy mountain. Grant to the universal shepherd of your church unity of the faithful whom you entrusted to his care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all this holy church. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and praise so that in celebrating this feast day of our blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this. In the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. As we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts, she receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb. And in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving, 
at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men her, as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ, she, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples, and thus became the model of the supplicant church. She then finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church, and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Heavenly Lord, our Lord, the glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on, of, have mercy on us all, we pray especially those of us who are gathered here around this altar, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With grateful hearts for the gift of our Blessed Mother in our life of faith, let us pray the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
God Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. The blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
let us pray. <clears throat> heavenly Father, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray, that we may be led by you to the eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May we know always and everywhere the protection of our Blessed Mother, through whom we have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. Amen. May we who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. At this time, I would like to invite those of you who have your religious articles, please hold them up. I'm going to give you a special blessing. I also invite my fellow priests to join. Heavenly Father, as we gather here, as we carry away so many articles, rosaries, souvenirs in memory of this beautiful gift of faith of our Blessed Mother's apparition, Bless these articles wherever they are placed, whomever we give. May all we always find your gift of peace. May we enrich these religious articles, and may we also open our hearts for the blessings that they bring into our life. They may become source of light in our spiritual journey. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.